I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with yet another tier list here for Pokemon, this time for the eighth and final generation, and that is, of course, from Pokemon Sword and Shield. And we have quite a few Pokemon here that I'm not going to remember the names of, so I do apologize way in advance. I do have my list here on my phone, though, just in case. I might forget one or two or 500 of them. <laughs> I'm still learning a lot of the new names for the Pokemon, so I'm gonna, I'm, I guess I'm gonna apologize ahead of time. Of course, this is a tier list based off my own personal opinion on the Pokemon, mostly based on aesthetics. Uh, competitive viability has really nothing to do with uh, my my list here. Uh, this is not ranking. Oh, this is the strongest Pokemon in the game. This is the weakest in the meta. Yada yada. Nothing like that. It's just my personal uh, preference for the Pokemon. We have, of course, the tiers here. We have the God tier, the top of the top, the cream of the crop. We have Amazing, Great, Okay, Not So Okay, and of course, Garbodor. Um, the Pokemon that make you sick by just looking at them will go in the Garbodor tier, of course. And uh, that's really all there is to say about this. Of course, I will have the uh, link to the tier list in the description below if you want to do it along with me, or if you just want to do it after you're done watching this video or whatever, feel free, send a screenshot to me on Twitter if you like, and let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this tier list, and maybe who you would put in the God tier list. Anyways, guys, let's get started. So it looks like it's numerical, this list here, uh, but it starts with some of the, uh, or all of the Galarian Pokemon first, because I guess, technically in the National decks, their number would be lower, so that makes sense. So we'll start with Meowth here. Um, <clears throat> Galarian Meowth himself, I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, and we will move Pokemon around this list at the end as we normally do, or as we go along as well. We're going to put in the not so okay for now. Galarian Ponyta, however, I think is amazing, along with Rapidash, although I think Ponyta looks better than Rapidash. I think Ponyta looks a little like, it looks like it has Play-Doh coming out of it, whereas I think Ponyta just looks cooler, in my opinion, but they both look pretty darn cool. Surf Farfetch has to go amazing tier as well. Such a cool Pokemon. Uh, Galarian Weezing goes in the Great. I think it's a, a great uh, Galarian regional variant. Uh, very distinguished, very gentleman-like, very cool. Uh, Mr. Mime goes in the OK. I thought he was OK. I was very happy to see him get a, a new regional variant, but uh, I think it's just OK. Um, same with Corsola. Corsola is a good Pokemon to get a, a new regional variant for sure. I just... Uh, I don't know. I just think it's okay. It's, it's just a different shade of color. I know it has a different typing. I just think I think it's okay. Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing too bad there. Zigzagoon, I think again is also okay. I love the color scheme of the Zigzagoon and the Lanoon. I think they're pretty cool. And while we're here, we might as well grab Obstagoon. We should probably grab these other evolutions too while we're at it, just because we're already here. Um, just to get them kind of out of the way. So we're talking about their uh, pre-evolutions here. Uh, where are they all at? Mr. Rhyme. Will definitely go in the great tier. Uh, same with uh, Weezing. Just a cool Pokemon. Very distinguished. Very gentleman-like. Uh, um, Rune Runegrius is that what, how you pronounce its name? I don't remember. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's okay. Uh, your mask is also kind of okay. I mean, it looks basically the same, but I do think it's a cool Pokemon to get a regional variant. Sir Farfetch belongs in the Amazing tier as well. And, I mean, he just looks cool. He's got a sword and a shield. It looks kind of like kind of like a young Link. Not really, but that's what it reminds me of. Uh, Cursula, I think is great. I think uh, it's, it's really creepy looking. Obviously, that's the point. Um, but again, just a Pokemon that really needed a regional variant and an evolution, and I think this one worked out pretty damn well for it. Um, did I, oh no, Preserker, we need Preserker, where's Preserker, there you are, and Obstagoon. Preserker and Obstagoon both going into Amazing, quite honestly, I might put Obstagoon in the God tier list, I mean, I really like the way, uh, Obstagoon uh, looks, I really like the way he looks. Yeah, we're putting him in the God tier, guys. First God tier of the video already. Um, we're going to go up scoot. Of course, as I mentioned through most of my videos, uh, my God tier list, my top list, won't have that many Pokemon in it. Um, Ten at max, probably less than that, though. This is the top of the top. You don't put half your list in here. I see a lot of people do that, and it drives me nuts. You shouldn't do that. That's not how, that's not how tiers should work, in my humble opinion. Darumaka. 
I think is great. I think uh, Darmanitan is amazing, and so is his Zen mode. Zen mode has to go higher, right? Um, yeah, I like that. I like the uh, Darumaka and uh, Darmanitan quite a bit. Uh, Stunfisk was a very cool design, actually. Very cleverly done, I thought. Making him kind of like a bear trap. Um, I'm going to put him in the okay, but that's not an insult to him. I just think I think uh, it's just okay. Now we have the starter Pokemon. Amazing for Grookey. In fact, probably right there. Thwacky, I like, but I like it a lot less than Grookey. We'll put it in the uh, top of the of the great tier, which is still, I mean, great tier is still a really solid uh, category to be in. Rillaboom, of course, goes to God tier. Um, Rillaboom is probably, and I would say definitely, my favorite Pokemon from this entire generation. I mean, he's just a beast of a Pokemon. Um, just a big old ape. I love it. I love him a lot. Um, Score Bunny. I'll put it amazing. Same with Sabo. I like all three of the starters' first forms. I think they all look really, really cool. Very cute. Uh, Reboot. I would put it in the great tier as well. I like Reboot. Cinderace can go in the great tier as well. Um, Drizzile. Drizzile. Is the Drizzile in shits. <laughs> Um, nah, he's not so okay. I'm not going to put him in the Garbodor tier, but he definitely could belong there. And Tellian definitely does, though. Um, that's not a fan of this anorexic-looking lizard. Could look a lot cooler. Um, it's starting to grow on me a little bit, though. I do have a shiny one. I've got all three of the, uh, starters shiny. I shiny hunted for him. I like the fact he does the finger bang. I also do the finger bang on camera to, you know, start and end the video. So I can appreciate that. Um... I just think that it's probably the uh, one of the worst starter Pokemon and Pokemon altogether. So I have to put him here. It would probably go Embor as the worst. I mean, if, crap, I did a starter tier list. I don't remember who I said was the worst. I honestly don't. Um, but Italian is definitely one of the worst ones. Um, Drizzle, I think, looks a little bit more cooler. But still, it's not a fan. Like, Sable started out so great. And ended up here. So it's a damn shame. Squovet. Very basic Pokemon. I'm not a huge fan of him or Green Dent. In fact, Green Dent could probably go in the bin as well. Um, I think Squovet's a little bit better looking. Not, there's nothing wrong with this. It. fine Pokemon. It's just, I'm just not a fan. Rookity. Rookity's what? Rookity's nuts. Ah, ah. Got him. I like Rookity quite a bit. In fact, I would go as far as to say great. Um, Corvusquire, also great. And then Corviknight is got here. Corviknight. It's such a cool Pokemon, man. Um, it's got, it's, it's kind of, it reminds me of Skarmory, obviously because of the typing, but it's just, man, it's such a cool Pokemon. Like, I can't really say much more about it. Um, when I first saw Rookie D and Pokemon Sword and Shield, and of course, I do have a playthrough that I'm going through right now, but you can see that first episode. The first episode's up. Um, I have beaten the game, of course. I beat it like five days after it came out. I just, I just binged and, and made a bunch of it. I think it was like, I'm not going to say how many episodes because they're not all up uploaded yet, but it was a handful of, of episodes. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of fun. I went in there pretty much blind. I didn't see, like, any spoilers. And, uh, man, when I saw Rookie D, I was a happy boy. I think Rookie D is a really cool Pokemon. Uh, and, of course, Corviknight as well. Uh, Blipbug, it goes in the bin. I'm not a huge fan. Same with Dotler. Or Beetle, I think, is actually pretty cool. I'm going to put him in... I'm putting him in the amazing tier, honestly. And I'm going to put him right above Sir Farfetch'd. I really like Warbeal. And his, his G-Max form, sadly the G-Maxes aren't here, which is fine because they're not necessary. But uh, his G-Max form is really cool. I like the the UFO. Pretty rad. Then we have Nickit. I think Nickit is pretty cool. Um, I would probably put right about here in OK. Now, Thievul was kind of disappointing to me, to be honest. The mustache was kind of weird. I know it's funny because I say these two look distinguished gentlemen-like. I just don't think it works for this Pokemon personally. Um, if he had a top hat, maybe a little top hat. Just saying, we could have done something like that maybe. Maybe a mon. Does he have a monocle? He might have a monocle. Um, I'm just not a fan. I'm going to put him at the bottom of not so okay. Um, I, I, I need to put you at the top of not so okay. There we go. Um, oh god, Gossifluar, I think that's its name, uh, it's okay, bottom of okay, and I can't think of your name, it's, uh, Gossifluar and, god, I was doing so well, I was doing so well, 
Um, I have, like I said, I have the thing here, so I'm just going to look at it real fast. Don't mind me. It is called... It's not even next numerically, is it? Yeah, I had a... It's Eldegoss, that's right. Eldegoss. I had a Pazic... I had a... It's like after, uh, um... Boltol... Bolton? I think it's Bolden. Bolton? I'll check out what I get there, but... Eldegoss. Um... That's okay. Nothing too crazy. Honestly, I'd probably put Drizzle, Drizzle in front of these two, so I probably should put them in here, huh? Drizzle might get moved up to okay. Um, then we have uh, Wulu. Gotcha. Not quite Gotcha, but it is a pretty cool Pokemon. I'm going to put it in the great tier, and I'm going to put it right um, in front of Galarian Weezing. Um, is it Dubwool? I think it's double. I have, like I said, I'm going to see it is. Double, yeah, it was right. Um, we're going to put you probably right here. Wulu is legendary, though. Um, you know, Wulu is kind of a, it's kind of a meme Pokemon at this point, but I do think it's a pretty cute Pokemon. Um, it does play a kind of a, I wouldn't say a major part of the game, but it's definitely uh, throughout the game um, quite a bit. And, uh... I don't know, it's kind of cute, it's kind of fun. And the fact that, I, that there's someone who like beat the entire game with just a Wooloo is kind of funny. Um, yeah, I like Wooloo. Choodle and Dreadnought. Uh, Choodle is okay. I would put it probably right about here. But Dreadnought, however, really cool Pokemon. Goes into the amazing tier right about here. Uh, we have Yamper. It's okay. Honestly... I have to put him behind Drizzile, and I think Drizzile might move up. Uh, I think this thing's called Bolton, and I'm going to double check real fast. Um, Bolton, yeah. So, Bolton's pretty cool. I'm going to put Bolton in the OK tier. And he's going to go up pretty high, honestly. Well, honestly, probably the top of OK. Uh, Ro Roly Coley, Karkle, and Colossal. Massive fans. Got tier first off. Uh, for the name alone, they deserve high rankings because the names on these Pokemon are amazing. Um, I do I do like the designs though. Um, I'm gonna put Roly Coley and Caracol. I'm gonna put them in the great tier. Probably in this, probably in that order, yeah. And quite honestly, I think I'm gonna move you up above. I'm gonna move these two up a little bit higher. Um, yeah, past Wulu too. Let's be honest. Okay, boom. I like it. Um, Apple, um, Applin, almost said Appleton, um, that's this guy, um, Apple, uh, Applin is, I like the Apple, I like all three of them, really, um, Applin, I think is gonna go in the great tier, we're gonna put Flapple in the amazing tier, I'm actually tempted to put in the god tier, in fact, let me look at the, let me look at this list, cause I know there's, okay, I see one, two, three, maybe even four, Five other Pokemon going into the God tier. Nah, we'll put it in the Amazing tier. I'm going to put it at the top. It might move up, but I really like Flapple. Appleton, I think, is going to be a little bit lower. But I... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Poltergeist. Chill out. We'll put you right here. Um, Appleton is going to go right above uh, Applin here um, in the great tier. I think that's a good spot for it. Um, we have Silly Cobra and uh, Sandaconda. Um, my Santa Cana don't want none unless you got buns on. Just remember that. Um, they're fine. I, I mean, they're not, they're no Arbok, let's be honest. Um, we'll put them in the okay. Maybe in front of, uh, Yamask. But they're not the special I thought. I can't remember this Pokemon's name. It's like, uh, I'm not gonna look it up just it's like Dread Ant or something like that. Now I'm gonna look it up now that I said a name. I think it's like Dread Ant or something like that. Um, I gotta sneeze really bad, so I apologize ahead of time, guys. It is called, um, Cramorant. I knew there was, like, ant in its name, so I was definitely wrong. Um, it's got its three other, like, little, I wouldn't call them forms, but, like, the other animations, we have a, a fish and a, and a Pikachu, which is pretty cool. I would rank the Pikachu the highest, but I'm gonna put them all in the same tier, which is okay. I'm gonna put them in the okay tier. I do like them. They're, it's, a, it's a cool Pokemon. Um, maybe, maybe put Lanun and, uh, Zigzagoon above them, though. 
I do apologize that I have a bit of the sniffles. I'm a little under the weather. Um, so this is Barracuda, and they're both like they're both their names are very similar to Barracuda. I'm gonna look at them up as well. Um, this list is a little out of order, I think, or, or this or the list I have right now is a little out of order. I don't know. But, uh, and it's Aracuda and Barracuda, so I was pretty close. This is Aracuda and this is Barracuda. I think they're very much not so okay. They're fine. They're not that insulting, but I gotta put some Pokemon on the lower list, and these definitely belong there. Um, Toxel and Toctricity. So Toctricity does go in the God tier. Um, definitely one of my favorite Pokemon from this, uh, generation. Um, I like both the forms just fine. I think I like this one just a little bit more than this one. Uh, Toxel himself goes in the Amazing tier. It's cute as hell, dude. It's I was now I was a little disappointed in the evolution at first. Full disclosure, and I think my reaction to it probably was less satisfying for some people because it's just like really, that's your reaction to Toxtricity. But all right, so just I'm gonna walk you guys through this for a minute, right? So I see this this like Triceratops like looking Pokemon, right? That's all on that's on all fours. So I'm thinking, man, this thing's about to evolve into this massive looking Tyran you know, Tyrannosaurus you know, Tyrannosaurus on its uh Triceratops, sorry, not Tyrannosaurus. This Triceratops on all fours looking beastly, big old horns, you know, I'm thinking this thing's gonna look very feral and just like a freaking monster. Now I didn't really expect like a rock and roll star. Though with it being an electric type Pokemon it makes sense. Um I do like them both, but I was a little underwhelmed when they evolved at first. Full disclosure, but they definitely belong in the god tier. So then we have Sizzlipede and uh, Cenoscorch. Um, both great Pokemon. Uh, Cenoscorch is going to go in the Amazing tier. Um, probably, I want to move Toxel up a little bit too, to be honest. Maybe right behind Dreadnought. We're going to move Cenoscorch up. Maybe right in front of Orbeetle. That's good. Um, Sizzlipede is definitely... I think it goes in the OK tier. Maybe the top even of OK. Might move up to great, but we'll see how things go. Um, so then we have uh, uh, Grab Locked, which goes in the GOT tier. Huge fan of this Pokemon. And then I think it's called Clop Ops. Clop Ops, something like that. I'm going to look it up real fast. Give me a second. Um, I think it's called Clop Ops. Crap, man. My nose is running away from me, man. Where the hell is this Pokemon at? Oh boy, this is nice. Oh, there it is. Um, Clobopus. Clobopus. I was kind of close. Clobopus. Um, goes in the OK tier. Grapplot is definitely better, but, uh, you know, he gets there. Uh, Sinistee and Poltergeist. I think it's called Poltergeist. Um, or is it Pottergeist? Pottergeist. I don't know. But, uh, I like them both. <clears throat> I'm going to put them in the OK tier, and I'm going to put them in front of Cramorant tier. Then we have like, oh man, I'm gonna get these wrong. It's like Hat Hat Hatany, Hatarina. They all they have like Hat in their name. Um, as you can see, why they're basically Hat Pokemon. Um, again, I'm gonna scroll up a little bit. So give me a second here. Um, while I find here they are right here. It is uh, Hatiana, Hatrem, and Hatarine or Hatarini. Um, I'm honestly not a massive fan of either of these two Pokemon, but I do like this one quite a bit. This reminds me of Routes with a with a with a birthday hat on, so that's a good Pokemon to have. Maybe right about here. Um, these two can go in the garbage orbit, if I'm being honest. Not a fan. Okay, so we have Impinimp, uh, Morgrim, and of course, uh, I want to call it Nico because that's what we named ours in our uh, in our Let's Play. Uh, Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl's got here for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not going to count these as two different Pokemon. They're the same Pokemon. Um, Impidimp and Morgrim are going to go in the... I'm going to put Impidimp in the Great Tier. I want to put Morgrim in the Amazing Tier. Right above uh, uh, Berserker. So we're going to put you right there. Uh, we have Milkery and uh, Alchemy. I like these both. Um, I think Milk Milkery is a little obviously less appealing. It, we'll put it at the bottom of OK, but Alchemy is going to go in the Amazing tier. I really like Alchemy. I like the the, uh, the way Alchemy works. First off, the way it evolves, Milkery evolves into Alchemy is pretty cool and unique. It definitely, and definitely, you know, you like you go in a circle until you start spinning around. 
with the uh, the treats in your inventory, and you can get different kinds of designs, which is really rad. I really like this Pokemon. I think it's a very cool, uh, um, unique Pokemon. One of my more fairy, uh, fairy. One of my more uh, favorite fairy Pokemon. Phalanx goes into the amazing tier as well. Just a cool Pokemon. I think it's just a really cool Pokemon. It definitely belongs there. Pin Urchin. Uh, I ain't got time for this, uh, you know, Pukumuku ripoff. I really thought this is gonna be a, an evolution of Pukumuku, and it should it should have been 100%. Uh, but no, I'm just not a fan. Probably right about here. Uh, maybe move you. Whoa, 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 no, 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 move you down here. Yeah. Snom and Frostmoth. Now I like Frostmoth quite a bit. I'm actually shiny hunting for one right now in my Sword and Shield game. I haven't for a couple days because I've been kind of under the weather. Um, plus I've been binge watching uh, with my mom. We're gonna go see Star Wars. The uh, the new Star Wars, but I haven't seen the 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 uh, the other two. <laughs> I haven't seen okay, so I haven't seen seven and eight yet. I think it's the Force Awakens and the Last Jedi. Is that what it's called? Um, and then of course the Rise of Skywalker. I haven't seen them yet. I've seen the other six, obviously. Ever since I was a kid, I've seen the original three, um, and then I obviously when I was like nine, the uh, the pre sequel started. Um, we're actually watching through all of them right now. The uh, the original six plus the new two. We just watched um, the first two. We watched the uh, Phantom Menace and the clone, uh, the Attack of the Clones tonight, and we're gonna try to watch the rest. And then uh, in a few days we're gonna go see. Uh, I'm taking them. I'm taking them and my my brother to the uh, movies as kind of a, an extra Christmas present. So it's gonna be very exciting. Um, Why did I even bring that up? Oh, because I'm under the weather and we we're watching Star Wars. So I haven't been playing Pokemon. Anyways, um, Snom is kind of just uh it's an okay looking pokemon it's kind of just uh there to get to here <laughs> right uh stone journer i think is kind of cool actually um i wouldn't put him in the great tier quite but i would put him in the okay tier for sure maybe in front of poltergeist um ice Q, is that is that the name of this pokemon i'm not a huge fan of this form by the way i think it goes in the garbodor but then this one's okay kind of i'm gonna put it in the not so okay list though um, then we have uh, NDD. It's it's something like that. It's like NDD, MTD. Let me look it up real quick. It is called yeah NDD. Okay, NDD. Uh, this is the male, I believe, and this is the female. Or I have them reversed, but they're these are just gender variants. And uh, I think that this Pokemon is not so okay. I, I was I got really like high hopes when I saw this Pokemon originally in my playthrough, but it doesn't evolve, and they just look okay. <laughs> Uh, Morphico, or Morpico, this is the hangry mode, um, it's okay, it's, it's just another Pika clone, um, maybe in front of your mask, uh, then we have, crap, I can't think of, Qfint, and I can't think of this guy's name, I like them both, crap, what's your name, I was doing so well, but I'm starting to fall off here a little bit. Um, da, da, da. well, I'm passing Ice Q. Yeah, it is Ice Q, by the way. I'm not gonna remember the fossil names at all because I don't like them, to be honest. I know the ones like Drive Drive Fist or something like that. But uh, where the hell? Oh, there it is. Okay, it is a uh, Copper Jaw. Copper Jaw. That's right. I like him. I like him a lot. I'm gonna put him in the great tier. Maybe right here. And then Q Fence. Yeah, honestly, you can go in the great tier too. Boom. All right, so these fossil Pokemon, I am going to look them up. I need to scroll down because I'm not going to know their names. I'm just, I'm not even going to pretend like I would. Um, I don't like these fossils at all. They're all going in the Garbodor tier. But we have Dracozolt, which is this one. I'm going straight in the bin. We have Arctozolt, which is going straight to the bin. We have um, Dracovish. Which I know people like to use competitively, I think. He's okay. And then we have Arctovish, probably the better of the looking like better of them all. But I'm gonna put them in the not so okay. Probably the best one of them all. These just they just look really goofy. I get what they were doing, I just think they look kinda like disgusting looking, which is what the Garbage War Cheer is for. Um, then we have Darudalon, I think is its name. Um I really wish he evolved. I and mean, the fact that it doesn't evolve is because it doesn't seem like a complete Pokemon. Like it just doesn't look like one, right? I think he's very much the top of okay. 
I think it's cool, but I just wanted more from it. Uh, then we have Dreepy, Drac, I think it's Draclock, and I can't think of your name now. Um, it is um, Dragapult, that's right. Um, I think it's a great looking Pokemon. Maybe behind Qfint and Copra Jaw. Um, Draculock, I think, is a little less spectacular. Put it in OK, and then we'll put Dreepy in OK as well. I'm not really a huge fan. Like I like I like the way they they kind of look, and I like that they're like ghost dragons. But I'm just not like a massive fan of the design. Like it's not on the level of like a Salamence. You know what I mean? All right. So then we have uh, Zacian and uh, <clears throat> sorry, my throat is starting to get really. So I'm gonna take a drink of water real quick. Ah, Zamazenta and Zacian. I like them. I like Zamazenta more. I wouldn't put them in God tier, though. I'm going to put them in Amazing right behind uh, Flapple. And we'll put you there with them. Um, we'll put these forms right behind them. I think they're fine. Um, like I said, they put them in Amazing, so I like them both. I just uh, I just don't think they're quite God tier level. And then we have Eternatus. I think this is Eternatus' G-Max form. Um... I think it's great. Maybe right about here. I'll put its G-Max form right next to it. Um, yeah. So I think I'm moving Flapple up to God tier. I'm going to go ahead and make that executive decision. I wanted to anyways, but I just wanted to see if I was going to put anything else up there first. Because um, I didn't want to overflow it. So we're going to take a double check on this list here real quick, guys. And uh, see if, if I like where everything's at. So... In the Garbodor tier, like I said, I'm not a fan of these hat Pokemon. Green Dent, um, I don't hate the guy. I don't hate any Pokemon, really, besides uh, Padov's line. <laughs> I don't like Confezzan. I think it's the worst Pokemon. But some people got to go in the Garbodor tier, man. That's just, that's just the way it's got to be. Um, if I'm being honest, like I want to keep on telling the Garbodor tier because I think it's one of the worst legendaries. Legendaries. One of the worst starters. But I honestly don't like it more than Squilvet. I don't like, I don't like it more than uh, Galarian Meowth. I think I have to move it up. I think I need to move it up. If I'm gonna be fair, I think I have to put it up here. I think it goes to not so okay, but it's on the top of it. But I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna move you back up to Squilvet. Cause you're not quite the Garbodor level. These guys are Garbodor level. Okay, so Garbodor level is complete. I like these fossil Pokemon in here because I don't like them at all. Um, this guy, I can maybe move up here and be okay with it, but I'm going to leave him here. Uh, these two, I just they look so weird. Like They, they just look strange, which is fine because that's what they're supposed to be. I just, like, I miss, like, I love some, like, I love Aerodactyl. I love Kabutops. I love um, Tyrantrum. I love, you know, Rampardos. Bastionon, I could live without, but... I just love those fossil Pokemon so much more, and these guys, I'm just not, I'm just not feeling, man. Um, Ice Q, I like him with the Ice Q bond, but I don't like it without it. I think he looks really goofy. I would just prefer a regular Penguin at that point, if I'm being honest. Uh, so yeah, I like Garbodor tiers finalized. I like where it's at. Uh, not so okay. I'm fine with where it's at. Let's look at okay here. So we have Milkery. I definitely think Milkery does not belong in this tier, so it definitely needs to be an okay. Same with Snom. I think everything here is fine. I think the order of which the things are are fine so far. Maybe not nah, yeah, because they're they're kind of just bland, but they kind of they they they're there for uh, a greater purpose to evolve into better Pokemon. Um, yeah, I'm liking where this uh, where this tier is at as well. So I think this is finalized as well. Um, if this thing could evolve, I think its evolution would be very high. Because I like I like where this is starting, but it's like to me it's just a starting point. It's a starting Pokemon, you know. It's a it's 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 supposed to evolve, and maybe in the you know Pokemon Gun the third version of in Pokemon Sword Two Shield Two. I hope not. Uh, let's hope we get something else. But uh, if we get a game like that, maybe they'll give him an evolution. He needs one. Um, so then we got the great tier with Applin here holding uh, holding it down. I'm liking where this is going. Um, Maybe rank this up a little bit higher. Put Cursola on the bottom here. I kind of like Appleton more than Appleton, but I do like Appleton. 
I need to put this up a little bit higher. Yeah. Let me put you back here. Mr. Rhyme, I'd probably put back here. Same with Weezing. No disrespect. If I'm being honest, Wooloo probably goes right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, chill. Wrong Pokemon. Um. Yeah, this looks better. Um, I like Eternatus a lot. I think Eternatus is pretty cool. I don't think it's quite amazing tier, though. Honestly, I think Berserker probably should be moved down as well. I like Berserker, though, but I don't know if it's an amazing Pokemon. <clears throat> Phalanx is also great, but I don't think it's an amazing Pokemon. We'll move it down as well. Um, maybe ahead of Impidimp. I really like Rook D. Alchemy. That's fine. Uh, Morgrim's fine, so these guys are fine. Tox is good. Uh, Dreadnought's good. Sir Farfetch'd and Farfetch'd Galarian form are good. Uh, Ore Beetle, Senta Scorch, uh, Frost Smoth. Um, of course, we got Ponyton Rapidash, Galarian are good. The three starters are good um, in that order. Zama Zenta and Zamasian are good. And then Flapple, we got Grimmsnarl, we got Graplock, we got Colossal, one of the best names. Honestly, maybe puts you right about here. And honestly, I really like this Pokemon. I want to shiny hunt him. He's, he's like next on my list. Um, yeah, the Toctricity, which I have a shiny. Uh, Toctricity now. Took me took me about 2,100 eggs, by the way. Not happy about that. <laughs> it took a long time. I want to get a shiny one of you as well. And then, of course, we got Rillaboom, the realest, and in my opinion, the best Pokemon in the room. So, this is my tier list for the 7th gen. I hope you got, or sorry, for the 8th gen. I hope you guys liked it. Again, if you disagree with any of my choices, feel free to put that in the comment section below. Let me know if you'd put any of the Goblet Open. I have a feeling this guy would probably be in some people's uh, God tier. Or S tier, whatever you want to call it. Um, I know a lot of people are po using this Pokemon competitively. I've seen a lot of people, like, I've just seen thumbnails where people say, oh, this Pokemon's great. Um, I'm just not a fan of the way it looks. I think they're just goofy looking. Um, yeah, I don't think, I don't really think there's that much debate on my list, to be honest. I think a lot of these Pokemon are probably in their appropriate places if people were to rank, do their own ranks. Uh, maybe some of these things will be moved down a little bit lower. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. Who would be in your god tier list? Um, like if any of these Garbodor are not so okay Pokemon. I know there's got to be someone that just loves Inteleon. And it should be, in their opinion, in the god tier as well. Um, let me know. Let me know what's up. I want to know what you guys think. If you guys want to do a tier list as well. Again, like I said, the uh, link will be in the description below. Like they uh, have been in all these other videos. Um, screenshot them. Show them to me on Twitter. would love to see them. would love to compare. Let me see what you guys uh, think is the better Pokemon. Uh, what your list looks like. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. So, what's next here? So, we've done all the eight generations. What would be next on the tier listing? Um, are we going to do more Pokemon ones? Are we going to do... So, there really isn't that many more, like, Pokemon ones I could do. I could do, like, rankings of types. Like, you know, all the Ice Pokemon, all the Rock Pokemon. I could do Gym Leader rankings. I could do, like, Elite Four rankings, things like that. Um, I can do... I won't do anime because I haven't watched all the the uh, seasons of anime. I think the last one I actually fully watched. Well, to be honest, I watched all of, uh, I think, X and Y. Because I heard it was really good. I checked it and actually really liked it. But I haven't watched like the Diamond of Pearl or the Black and White ones. I haven't watched um, any Sun and Moon. Uh, but I, I haven't started any of the uh, Sword. I don't even know if Sword and Shield started in the anime. So I won't do any of those. I haven't watched all the movies yet either. There's a few of them I haven't seen. I will watch them eventually, so maybe I'll do a tier list after I watch uh, the rest of the ones I haven't seen. Uh, that could be a long time from now. I want to do a Dragon Ball Z tier list. Maybe a few different Dragon Ball Zs. Maybe I'll do uh, like a video game uh, for the Dragon Ball series um, tier list. Maybe I'll do uh, Dragon Ball Z characters, things like that. Um, we'll see. There will be a lot of different things. Maybe I'll do like an anime you know, list. Maybe I'll do a video game list. A Smash Brothers list or something. There's definitely a lot of like It's addicting doing these tier lists. So I don't know... Uh, if you guys have ever been like on Sporkle, it's like a it's like a like a quiz website. People make quizzes. It's kind of similar to Tier Maker, uh, but it's just one of those things where you can get on there and just like, oh, I want to do just a quick quiz or something, and then you'll be on there for like two or three hours. <laughs> I feel like Tier Maker's kind of like that, and uh, I'll just be sitting there like, you know what? I kind of feel like doing a tier list. Let's do it. And I just did like I did three to, to you know tonight. I did this one, the seventh and the sixth gen, all in one, just kind of one is sitting, and. Uh, I really enjoy doing these, so I'll probably do a lot more. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I am the Maverick Mark Daniels. Been your feral peace and one love.
Bang!